Hi everyone, welcome to your alchemy scope. You are an embodied reflection of Source. You are thus infinitely empowered, abundant, and a co-creator with your context always. You are an alchemist. Divination works because the web of life is intelligently organized with coordinated and storied agency. Let's take a look at the stories playing out now. Hi everyone. Let's take a look at the macro cycle. So what story is imbuing the energy set for all of us on a collective scale? To do that, I'm pulling up the Sabian symbol for the exact degree point of our new moon in Scorpio that is occurring at 19 degrees Scorpio on November 11th, 11, 11, 2015. The Sabian symbol is delicious. It is a woman draws away two dark curtains, closing the entrance to a sacred pathway. Now, this one, you don't have to be very intuitive to get the whole message, the whole energy set behind this micro story of this symbol, because these symbols sometimes only a couple words long contain great depth of meaning this particular symbol a woman drawing away two dark curtains that have been closing the entrance to a sacred pathway is so self-evident we are opening our eyes we are seeing new realities we are seeing the depths of interdimensions this is juicy it's very good and for it to be occurring on the 11 11 portal this new moon point is quite something so it could be whether you're a woman or a man listening to this scope that indeed you feel the energies quite clearly at this point in time as we move forward into you know a more evolved self it's ever evolving the last couple months have been um, kind of unprecedented the next several years will prove to be uh, powerful and shifting we are not going to recognize the people that we were a year even six months down the line we're not going to recognize who we once were this is a very poignant time you are moving through a very poignant portal you are stepping into your power and in fact you are drawing away curtains that previously veiled realities so this is exciting so let's go ahead and move on to the I Ching and see what your specific signs micro cycle is Taurus so let's take a look at the I Ching hexagram that came forward to reflect your particular micro cycle or the energetic theme that you may be experiencing over the course of this Scorpio new moon to Sagittarius new moon cycle. You received number 59 dispersing. The two trigrams that make up this particular hexagram are wind above, water below. Nothing survives forever, not rocks, not even the most rigid of structures. All obstacles dissolve in time. The erosion of that which has been solid is not necessarily bad. It can mean that something new is being created. Another image is of ice flows, hardened in winter, dispersing in the warmth of spring. When the ice melts, a mighty river emerges. This is a time of small changes producing big results over time. Rigidity in the hearts tends to breed a separateness that can only be thawed by a greater force, typically a strong spiritual stirring. Dispersing represents the dissolution of internal rigidity within yourself that separates you from others. Sudden strong support, excuse me, sudden strong action in support of a greater good 
can lift the spirit and lead toward new possibilities in many areas. Spiritual impulses, including a sense of justice, should be honored and acted upon, and situations that are inactive or not working may be best to be dissolved. Disperse rigidity to create flow. Taurus, welcome to your spreads for December. So let's get started. Let's get right into it. I've already shuffled my Siri deck, my custom 144 card deck. A note that I've been receiving lots of inquiries about whether or not I sell this deck, and I don't. Currently, I don't. Um, however, I am in the midst of creating two fantastic decks, one of which is going to be done probably within about three weeks, the other of which hopefully will be done by Christmas time, but I'm not, I'm not sure if that's going to be possible or not yet. Um, a couple notes too. Um, I have my, my beautiful um, Elder Wand, <laughs> Dumbledore's Wand here, and I wanted to have that as part of the spread. I have a fabulous rose quartz that was a gift to me by a beautiful client, and I so love having that here as part of the spread and also on my piece of selenite. I wanted to have that this month as well. And I took a walk this morning. I'm filming this on 11-11, okay? I'm filming this on our Scorpio new moon. And there's a maple out on my in my neighborhood and I wanted to pull the transition colors of the leaves which is stunning just stunning and it um, it just felt appropriate we are all transforming we are all moving into deeper gradations of ourselves as it moves into perhaps a total dissolution if that hasn't happened already and into a new cycle a new self so let's go ahead and start pulling and see what's coming up for the main theme, circumstance, or event, a pre predominant one, a primary one, that may likely be coming forward for at least the majority of Taurus-centric scope people. And I actually adjusted that this month to be awakening Taurus centric scope people and I did that for a reason it's been it's been taking longer the last two months it's been taking longer and longer to get the shuffle done uh, in order to appropriately speak to you and the reason being is that we're all moving into you know, an, a newly aligned self, and that's inherently more diverse. So intuition is calling these scopes, as I said in the Scorpio spread, these will transmute to some degree, these scopes, and how they're done. There is going to be more intuition called forward. You are all, anybody tuning into the alchemy scopes are all already on a path of intuition, but if, you, if you're not diving in yet, you are going to desire to be. You're going to need to be, but you're also going to want to be more intuitive. So we're going to call upon that in the future scopes, I think. So let's take a look. Definitely information, knowledge, wisdom. This could be school. It could be courses. Taurus, for a majority of awakening Taurus people out there, it could be that there's a course, a talk, a topic that is calling you. It's, it's actually pulling you in to learn more about it. So let's see if we find more information here. First of all, it's going to bring you great joy. During this cycle, it is going to be a learning cycle. You're going to be drinking a new knowledge of some sort, but it is going to bring you great happiness. It's something about transformation for future. So I'm going to turn these over. As, as you know, the reversals only bring in additional cards to provide additional information for the spread, for the section. So let's see here. There's, okay, so Taurus, it looks like 
there's going to be some clarity that comes to you, some knowledge that lands in your sphere during this new moon to new moon cycle that brings forward some deception that has come into your life probably in the last couple of years. And this has been, there's been some deception, like for example, what I'm getting from this, because these cards came together, deception and mission of the soul. Mission of the soul has two meanings. One is the broader meaning, you know, kind of the bigger game that you're playing. What bigger purpose do you have? You know, what are the skill sets that are asking to be birthed through you? This is the big soul mission. It's also about smaller goals, like the things that you really want. So it's the, it's the part and the whole. The deception that's coming up around this, it's almost like you have some information that comes forward this month that's going to clarify for you where you have been off track on your soul mission, on your work in the world, on your purpose. By the way, I say purpose lightly. Um... We don't all, we don't, we each have many purposes to fulfill. The key purpose is bliss, by the way. The key purpose of life is bliss. It's expansion and it's following your bliss into your own expansion. So actually the mission of the soul is always a process. It's not a product. So people get really caught up, especially clients of late, very spinning in the head around thinking they're off their track or off their mission. But that's not the case you are going through what you're going through in order to feed you appropriate information. And it could very well be that during this cycle, you are going to glean the wisdom out of the confusion that you felt. And maybe what you thought was deception about your goal isn't. You are going to find yourself emotionally in a space this month of more comfort emotionally, which is fantastic because Taurians have had, you know, Saturn going through their seventh house and it's been big. It's been big. It's been such a huge transition for you with regard to yourself with relationships and also how relationships are showing up or going away in your life. The beautiful thing is there's going to be clarity around deception that you might have had. Information will come to clear something for you. You're going to be more emotionally comfortable, more in a mindset of joy, Taurus. That is beautiful. I mean, it's about time, right? So much more in a space of joy mentally. Your thoughts might in just inherently be more aligned with a state of freedom and joy. The gorgeous thing is, at your core, now, this is these cards are coming up in the foundation sector. So yes, this has to do with your physical home, your home or your apartment or your condominium or wherever you live. Um, but this is also about your inner self. Home is about your inner, inner self as well. So it might be that... The knowledge that's coming to clarify some deception, inner deception about your soul path or some veil that's been covering information that you needed about your future, there is transformation that is occurring over the course of this next cycle, this new moon in Scorpio 1111 cycle, that is going to bring information that's going to support your transformation of self into future and by the way it could very well have to do with where you live or your situation with regard to home and what you consider home and what what that place is or what that situation is whether it's your inner self and or a home a place a house that brings you comfort and that brings you joy. 
But Taurus, I have to say overall, this is a fantastic spread because it feels like you're going to go into a space of clarity, of increased clarity. And there has been lots that's been in a confused space of late. So that looks really, really delicious for you. Wonderful. I'm going to leave, leave that one in your mind for right now. So let's go ahead and pull. Um, we're going to do what we did last month. And I'm going to pull three um, Carolyn Miss archetype cards out for you to intuitively tap into. And your choice will be the quality set that's asking most to be matured within you and through you during this month. Taurus. Taurus. Beautiful. Okay. Card two for Taurus. Sorry, everybody, there's a truck right outside. Okay, so Taurus. Here's card two. And let's select card three for Taurus. Okay, so card three. So Taurus, go ahead. So go ahead and tune in to one of these cards and let's go ahead and shuffle your Ascended Master in the meantime. And this is, of course, Doreen Virtue's Ascended Master's deck. So let's go ahead and pull your Ascended Master. Which guide is coming forward for you? And which message of guidance is coming forward for you over the course of this uh, new moon to new moon cycle? Taurus. Taurus. Take charge of the situation, Moses. This is about actualizing your leadership. Anything that's not working... Anything that you feel not blissful about, not resonant with, is asking for you to do what's needed. It's asking you, this, this guidance is about you maturing into the leader, taking charge. What, what's not working, own it. It is your life. It's your perception of your life. This is all you. So this is about you really owning, remembering your empowered state of being, your naturally empowered state of being. You are nothing less than powerful. You're an embodiment of the leader, right? You are a co-creator. You are a source embodied that is always co-creating with your context. You're always co-creating with your environment with other people, always, naturally. That's just how it is. But it's about you owning your inherently powerful role in your life stream. So let's go ahead and pull. So Taurus, if you picked the far right card, or far left card, interesting, damsel comes up. Damsel has come up many times in 2015. It's fascinating to me. The um, lower frequency manifestation. So what wants to be moved away from is wa waiting for a night to provide for you and seduction by romantic illusion. Okay. What wants to be matured is understanding the nature of healthy romance and inspiring you to rely on yourself. This is a replication of Moses in a big way. Obviously, damsel is more themed in the romantic arena, but this is about developing confidence in yourself and developing your own strength in self. Ground yourself in confidence and rooted strength in self. So let's see. 
So if you picked the center card, Taurus, you received king. Gorgeous. So for king, what wants to be evolved or pushed out of is excessive feelings of entitlement, rulership without restraint. And that then what wants to be matured is enlightened, benevolent leadership, benefiting those in your charge. Again, there's the leadership theme. Do you see here? This is pretty interesting. Tauruses are asked to really step up their maturity, to step up into their empowered leadership, creatorship, self. Powerful this. All of them are referring to that. Let's see what the third one says. Damsel and king. Mediator comes up. Mediator is another one that's come up recently for a few signs. So let's see what it says. So mediator is about... Um, moving out of negotiating with an ulterior motive or a hidden agenda, either personally or professionally. And then it's about evolving into gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in both personal and professional life. Respect for both sides of an argument. This is about integrity predominantly, I would say. And it's a gift. Again, it's a leadership capacity, isn't it? So it's a gift for negotiating fairness and strategy. It's about integrity, but it's also about strategy. And it's about negotiating, which inherently is a leadership capacity there. Respect for both sides of the argument. So, you know, there's a cooperative understanding a maturity here with understanding. Beautiful. Okay, Taurus. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what else we have for you this month. Taurus. So let's move on to the final component here of your alchemy scope. We come to the Dakini Goddess that I pull up using Penny Slinger's 64 Dakini Oracle. And I pull up the Dakini to bring us the message of which embodiment, who are you to become this month to grow yourself optimally, to actually move with least effort through the course of this cycle. You received number 52, Copper Woman. Copper Woman is a survival Dakini. And let me read uh, the short description here from Penny Slinger, and then I'm going to read two aspects uh, afterward. In learning how to walk upon this earth, Copper Woman is in a place of water in the form of ice and snow. Fire is at the heart of her survival. Now, Taurus, as I did last month, I'm going to go ahead and read the Dakini transmission of who Copper Woman is. And I'm also going to add the affirmation for you. So there are two components. Here is Copper Woman's Dakini transmission for you. With my axe, I cleave the way, cutting through all obscuration. With my broom, I sweep all clean, clearing the mind for revelation. Let me read that again. With my axe, I cleave the way, cutting through all obscuration. With my broom, I sweep all clean, clearing the mind for revelation. Beautiful. The affirmation for 52 Copper Woman Taurus is this. I am able to survive under any situation. I can rise to any occasion. I recognize and respect the spirit in all things. 
I know how to ask for and receive help from invisible sources. I am part of the circle of life. Beautiful Taurus. I wish you a wonderful month. I do coaching as some of you out there know but not all of you do the alchemy scopes are one small component of the bigger broader picture of the work that i do i do what i've identified as soul alignment coaching i help people identify the stories that live within them the patterns and the trajectories and the potentialities so if you are interested in getting clear about your patterns, about the shadows, about the integration that's needed, about the freedom of mind story so that you can move into the highest, best iteration of your incarnation at this time, reach out for a session and I'd be happy to um, talk with you and see what potentials exist for um, maybe ongoing sessions if you'd so desire as well. So the link for that is below this video. I wish you a wonderful month, Taurus. Bye.